All right, so of this problem, I have the fifth root of negative 124, negative 1,024, divided by 243. I, I don't have time or the capacity right now to help you with that. So what, we'll, uh, what we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is let's just take a look at it and see if we, some things make some sense, all right? Um, what I can do is I can break this up into equaling the fifth root of negative 1,024 divided by the fifth root of 243. All right, because let's, let's take a look at something. Let's take the square root, something we know a little bit better. The square root of 36 divided by 4 we know is equal to the square root of 9, right? Which we know is equal to 3, correct? So if I wrote a square root of 36 divided by 4, I could write that as the square root of 36 divided by the square root of 4, which this becomes square root of 36 is equal to 6 over 2, which is equal to 3. So do you guys see how kind of my transformation is still going to work? I'm still providing the exact same answer. Yes? It went from 243 to 243. Like That's just my mistake. Juliana, question is that was it? OK. Yeah, that would be a good idea. But does everybody understand what I did here? Does everybody understand that the square root of 36 divided by 4 is the same thing as breaking up the square root of 36 divided by the square root of 4? All right? So that means I can go ahead and follow through this. So now I need to take, well, what is the fifth root? Well, guys, there's only so many options. I mean, having a calculator is going to be helpful. But you need to say, what number multiplied by itself four or five times is going to give me negative 124. You could either use your calculator, or you can just kind of use a guess and check with paper and pencil. But what you'll notice is you're going to have 4. And what number multiplied by its, I'm sorry, negative 4, right? Because that's a negative number, so it has to be negative. And then what number multiplied by itself five times, Ronnie, gives us 243? I don't know. This Equals 3. All right? One thing you can just help is just plug in your numbers. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, right? Negative 4 times negative 4. And just keep on working your numbers if you're going to be working backwards. Unless you have a TI calculator, I can show you guys how to do it a little bit simpler. Um, but besides that, just work on, you know, just kind of do a guess and check. What number multiplied by itself five times gives you 243? Try, try 2, then go to 3, then go to 4, then go to 5. But what you'll notice is once you get to 3, Ricardo, that you already get your answer. So the final answer is going to be a negative 4 thirds. All right, so that is pretty much all I have, ladies and gentlemen, for this homework.